Welcome to our lecture online. Now here for something slightly different. We're asked to find the slope of a line that is perpendicular to another line that goes to the points 3, 0 and 7, 6. So let's call this line 1. Let's call the slope of the line that we're looking for, let's call this line 2. So first we need to find the slope of line 1. And so we can say that m1 by definition is equal to the change in the y values divide the change in the x values or the x coordinates of those two points. So if we call this point 2 and this point 1 then this is y2 and this is y1 and so we write 6 minus 0. And this is x2 and this is x1 so we write 7 minus 3 and so we end up with 6 over 4 which is equal to 3 over 2. So that's the slope of line 1. So now we look for the slope of line 2 and we're told that they're perpendicular to one another which means that slope 2, m2, is equal to the negative inverse of slope 1. So essentially minus 1 over m1. And we're given what m1 is now because we found that m1 is equal to 3 over 2 so we have m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 over 2. Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by that fraction, by the inverse of the fraction, I should say. So, m2 is equal to negative 1 multiplied times the inverse of 2 over 3. So, again, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse. And so, therefore, we can say that m2 is equal to negative 2 over 3. And that's how we find the solution. Again, we find the slope of line 1. And we realize that if the two lines are perpendicular, the slope of the second one is equal to negative 1 over the slope of the first one. The first one slope is 3 over 2. When we divide by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its inverse. And so therefore, the slope of the second line is negative 2 over 3. And that is how it's done. Can you draw the lines? Mm -mm. Visual. <laughs> you want me to draw the lines? All right. Let's draw the lines. Okay, so to get a better visualization of what's going on, let's actually draw the lines and see what we get. All right, so here we have a y and x axis. In the x direction, we have 3, 0. So three, 1, four, 2, three. 5, 6, and 7. In the y direction, we have 1, 2, 3. And now let's find the two points, the point 3, 0. So the x value is 3, the y value is 0. That's our first point. The second point is 7 and 6. So for y value we get seven, 6, for the x value we get 7. So this is the point 7, 6. 7 for x and 6 for y. Here's the point 3, 0. And then if we connect those points, so there is line 1. All right, now line 2 would have to be n. We can see that the slope slope of that line is equal to 3 over 2. So it's a little bit steeper than a 45 degree angle and that seems to be the case. It's a little bit steeper than a 45 degree angle. So now we're looking for the slope of a line that's perpendicular to that. Now that could be any line. It could be this line right here. It doesn't tell us what point the line goes through so we don't know what the line looks like except that we know that it's perpendicular which means it could be this line it could be this line it could be this line any of these lines are perpendicular to line one and therefore they have a slope which is the negative inverse of the other and so you can see that here we found it to be minus two-thirds you can see that yes it's a negative slope that means we have a drop of two and a run of three so when we pick one point right here we have a drop of 2, 1, 2, and a run of 3. 1, 2, 3 to get back on the line. So you can see that this is negative 2 for the drop, a positive 3 for the run. And therefore, yes, it does appear as if any of those lines have the appropriate slope to be perpendicular to line 1. So there you go. There's our visualization. Where are we? Right here. Perpendicular. There we go.